no ride this weekend. Um, it was raining, raining, raining. So uh, had a sort of a lie-in. Well, I didn't. I still got up at five o'clock. Um, but I went down and did a bit of work and um, did a bit of a blog for my website. So made the most of my time. I like to make the most of my time all the time. Um, this ride, this video you're actually watching here is from last weekend, um, and this was just a nice steady ride. Alf and I went on uh, down to Cleveland Point, and we now jump on the back of a little group. And you know what I'm like? I don't mind getting towed along from time to time. Why expend your own energy when someone else is quite prepared? to get up there and give it a go for you. So here come the train. Well done boys, off you go. It actually didn't last for very long. Um, we jumped on the back, but then the chap there on the back left, he ended up getting a mechanical. So the guys in front didn't actually realize when it happened. Um, and I could have just left it like that and got towed along. But I decided to do the right thing and uh, I rode up and told the rest of their group that one of your mates has got a mechanical and um, that was the end of our little train so we then had to carry on and proceed on our own which was still alright, you don't mind that you've got to get out and do a bit up the front but it does not hurt, you need to save your energy don't forget, especially if you're doing longer rides don't feel guilty about sitting on the back as long as you do your turn from time to time, no one mentioned how long that turn has to be, but as long as you do your bit, then you're quite entitled to just sit on the back and relax. And I tell you, I've done this before on lots of videos, haven't I? You know, you save so much energy when you just sat on the back there. Usually, a couple of riders further up would have been better. Here's where he pulls off and has his mechanical, um, would be a bit better positioned. Um, but you can see the power I'm going up to, look, 400 watts to jump back on. Um, luckily they, didn't, they weren't going too fast, so it was relatively easy to get back on. But um, I soon realised that they're not coming back, those two guys behind, and I'll shout out to this lot and tell them, your group's got a mechanical. But look, getting on is good, maybe not on the very back, because um, you are getting that bit of turbulence. But few riders before the back is probably ideal um, and if you're really really racing and you don't want to miss the action up the front then unfortunately you just got to ride maybe second third or fourth wheel so if there's a bit of an attack um, especially on a climb you can uh, go and do your stuff and speaking of climbs we will now let me have a look and let me just split that video hold it there and I'm back again. So speaking of um, attacks on climbs, here's one that we're coming up to shortly. Now we always have a little bit of a nudge on this, um, and I've just done a little bit of a turn off the front there. Um, and I wanted to give this climb a bit of a go because we haven't had a bit of a sprint up there for a while. So I somehow. Um, orchestrated it so as Alf got on the front and uh, did all the work. <laughs> now that point there that's where you turn and the climb is about probably 900 meters ahead of us. At that point there you've got to decide if you're going to give the climb a bit of a crank and it's not a very long climb this is what I would call a very short sprint right so it's a sprint burst. Um, and I figured I wanted to give it a go. But the only way you can do this is if you get someone else to be your mule. And in this case, unknowing to Alf, he's it. All right, so I'm just sitting behind him. But you see the power, pretty easy. Um, just sitting around there, waiting along. And I thought he'd give it a bit of a, a bit of a go on the climb. So we're coming up to it soon. And this is about getting your strategy right. You know, you have to place yourself in the right position. Um, and you've got to use the people around you. And unfortunately for Elf, 
he was the only person with me, so he got the job of heading from now. I did try and get in front a bit here, to be fair. Um, you know, I came up a little bit there, as you can see, but then after he sizes on the inside, he decided he was putting the power down, so I thought, fair enough, off you pop. Um, and then I decided to follow him. Um, so this is a, a good little sprint climb, but you know, you just have to know your numbers, get yourself in the right position, and go from there. Alf always gives it a little bit of a go up this hill, and I figured he would on this one. Um, so I surprisingly come up around the side of it soon. We're not quite on it yet, just round this corner and we'll be there. He probably hates me putting these videos on um, because I only put the ones on that I beat him on. <laughs> hey, that's the advantage of having the YouTube channel. I get to choose which video you want. No, I don't. I've put some on of him beating me as well. But um, in this particular case, old Valve Rider takes the cup at the top of the little sprint so I'm just sitting there you see the watts look there they are look they're drifting they're going up to that 400 watt mark you know that's starting to get in the pain city um, 400 watts 500 watts 600 watts just touch seven Alf's out the saddle and giving it a nudge and then I just sit behind him still and I think I know he'll sit down I know his style of riding and here we go and that's it I feel he's done and Go for the win, that is the point. You just have to sit, you've got to wait, you've got to bide your time. You might have to push out a few watts yourself, but you've got to bide your time and know when to go. So, good fun anyway, good little ride. But, on another note, after I've done my little bit there, um, I am looking at starting a new segment. And I'm gonna let you guys come on to my show it'll be a live show or we can record it um, and uh, you can have your say you can have 15 minutes on you or whatever you want to talk about um, if anyone's interested let me know I have got my very first chat that will be happening in the next couple of weeks and that's my brother-in-law Roger and he is an English Ironman he's done the Ironman over in um, England and it's the proper one. It's the one where it's 180k ride, swim and then a marathon afterwards. Um, how he does it, I don't know, but we will dive into it and ask him some questions um, on nutrition. Sort of He's not going to tell me a lot about his nutrition because he says it's a secret. But anyway, I will try and get it out of him and um, the sort of training he does. I know what he does training wise because he trains a lot um, and what sort of plan he's working to. Um, so I'll give you all an idea anyway um, as to what you need to do if you want to do a try and the hard and Rog is 50 right so this will be his second time he's gone in for this one he's going in for it again in June and um, he did well in the last one not quite sure where he placed but he did well and um, yeah, we'll just um, have a little chat with him and get an understanding on what goes on in the um, in the tri -wheel. So anyway, that is it for me. Hopefully, I'll be able to get out there tomorrow and have a ride. Um, if it's still a bit like this, not looking the best, I might just jump on the mountain bike and do a quick. 40k but anyway until then adios amigos